than they were last year, I guarantee that. But we'll see if we can get through it. Why is our town the best little town? Let me count the ways. Uh, that's the wrong poem. That's some other guy. I think it named Will or Bill that wrote that one. <laughs> the uh, parkways and park and, and park the parks and parkway are oh so fine. So, but I think it is much much more. It's the people who work to make it shine that create the lure of their shores. Like the POA who put on this show and paid for the tree no less. Seasiders ditto the decor with Shanghai husbands, I guess. They climbed around above the ground, stringing the lights on the tree, and if you add the, the, the above all up, tax money is not used, you see. Volunteers clean up the beach. Most of the lawns, they look so neat. Ladies with doggy bags in their hand help make our town the best in the land. Our town is always ready to help. For the county, we made no exception. We carried on their reputation, taking Chad and other perceptions. The mayor's seat decided by one vote. Can't, can't get much closer than that. And since this is the best little town, the guy wearing the mayor's hat extended a very meaningful gesture and an invite to his opponent he made. Come ride with me in my chariot in the St. Patty's Day Parade. <laughs> now, it's possible that uh, you may not know tonight's celebration's history, so let me tell you a little of the past. It really is no mystery. Forty years together like this to light the tree and to crash the crash to view. And a view from Santa was sweet for you. Many moons ago, down at the beach, we had a Norfolk pine, 40 feet tall and straight as a tail. The problem we could find, the branches looked so perfect, they would not support the weight of an adult climbing up with light. Oh dear, such a sad, sad thing. We tried using kids, but after losing a couple, a cherry picker was rented. Once again, we could chuckle. Then we moved to this park. Back then, it was brand new. A real tree trucked in. That idea was certainly new. Paid for by the property owners, but I think you know that. And decorated by the seasiders. I'm just repeating a fact. I feel like Victor Board. I need a page turner. <laughs> Okay, uh, next in the sequence, this solution appeared. Let's plant a tree. It would last many years. So with a tree that looked like a twig in the ground, two hurricanes came that year. The smart money was on a non-survival, but that little twig, it knew no fear. It grew and grew until you could walk under the base, but you could not see the top. My, oh my, decisions again. Can we risk seasiders? From that height, no way they cried, and it turned out all right. Because here we are, once again, with a good-looking Christmas tree. They got it right without loss of life. In our town, that's the way it should be. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, happy holidays. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. And um, there's, of course, one other group that we need to thank for this. This is the, um, the band from the Cross Community Church. Lovely people. They, many of you know they have services in our community center every Sunday morning, and they've been gracious enough to come here and provide music for us tonight while we um, enjoy the community here. So thank you so much to the Cross Community Church for coming. And now I would like to turn it over to Mayor John Workman for the countdown. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Uh, before we get to the main attraction, I would like to uh, invite Commissioner Trepepe and Commissioner Durrell to uh, join the Vice Mayor and myself up front for the countdown. And uh, if you are under the age of 18, we'd love for your help. So if you're under the age of 18 and, and want to help with the countdown, come forward and um, and we'll start that, uh, that countdown. So, How about the baby's first Christmas? Yeah, where is it? We have a first Christmas? So moms or dads bring the uh, first Christmas babies forward. Come on, we got two. 
right. All right. <laughs>